To my channel if you're new here welcome welcome my name is Lizelle and today yes we are doing my first Halloween tutorial for 2017 and it is this Queen Lioness tutorial I don't know what to call it but I mean I wasn't intending to like turn it into like the whole Queen thing but I had this crown don't ask why <laughs> and I was like you know what lionesses they are Queens so let's just throw the crown on and call it that so yeah this is the the look that we're going for today. Halloween isn't a thing here in Australia, so no one really celebrates it, but when I see everybody else like getting their Halloween on, doing their cool makeup looks, then I wanna jump on the bandwagon and do that. So I don't know, I kinda just wanted to do something cute because I'm not really about that like gory, scary type of thing. Anyways, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, I'm gonna kick things off today with the base. So I'm firstly going to prime the skin with the Australis Midas Touch Primer. So this is a hydrating serum primer and the fact that it is hydrating is super important because for this look, I will be putting a fair bit of makeup on so I need all the hydration I can get. So for foundation today I'm gonna to be going with my trusty Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. The shade that I use is Golden Beige. I swear I use this in pretty much every single one of my videos and I know you guys are probably sick of me using it all the time but it is Honestly, it's such a good foundation, plus it's super inexpensive, really easy to apply, full coverage, and it gives the nicest finish. So it's really everything that you could want in a foundation and more. All right, so foundation is on. Next up, I'm gonna do some quick color correcting with the Peach Corrector from LA Girl. Just gonna take a swipe to each eye and then blend it in with the Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush. Now for concealer today, I'm gonna to be mixing these two shades together from Tarte. This is their Shape Tape Concealer. I have here Light Medium and Light Medium Honey. So I'm pretty much just gonna make my own little shade with the two and apply those to the areas that I want to conceal and highlight. So I'm just dotting them underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, above my brows, and a teensy bit on my chin. And then I'm just gonna go in with the dampened sponge and blend it all in. I'm also just gonna take whatever is left like on the sponge and kind of pat it around this area here. Just because I want that to be kind of protruding later on. You, you'll see what I mean when I go ahead and finish off the face. It'll all come full circle like you guys will see what I mean. So now that all that concealer is on, I'm gonna bake. I haven't done this in a really long time, so let's see how this goes. Baking, like I have a love-hate relationship with baking, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a go today. So I'm just using the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, pack it on the areas where I applied that concealer. This is really gonna help brighten it up and make sure that everything just stays in place. So as you can see, I'm looking really crazy, but when I said that we were gonna bake today, I meant what I said, so yeah. Let that chill, let it do its thing for a couple minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. This one is in the shade Warm Beige. So I'm pretty much just gonna pat this onto all the other areas that I have not yet set. And now that I've had that powder on for a few minutes, I can feel it's like sucking the life out of my skin. This is why I don't like baking, but for a look like this, I feel like it's important to do. So it just makes sure that everything like stays in place and doesn't move. So yeah, just dusting away the powder and now, I'm gonna get started on the eyes, so I'm gonna get in on that zoom action. So of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my lids. I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base, and I'm just applying it with the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush all over my lids, up to the brows, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and set it in place with a little more of that translucent powder. So for today's look, I am going to be using all Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Now the first one I'm going in with is this one right here called Tiki Hut, and I'm just using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. As you can see, I'm just applying this through my crease all the way from my inner corner and kind of extending it out through to the outer corner of my eye because we want to really elongate the eyes for this look. Another thing to note as well is that you're gonna wanna bring the shadows really into that inner corner, even like somewhat down at the size of the nose, just a little. Next up, I'm going in with the shade Mocha from Makeup Geek and I'm using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. Again, I'm going to apply this through that same area, dragging it all the way from the inner corner of the eyes 
and flicking it out towards the outer corner. But I'm not bringing it as high as I did with that first Tiki Hut shade. This is purely just to help define the eye and really make that crease evident. All right, so now that those shadows are laid down in the crease, what I'm gonna do is cut the crease. So I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer once more, and I'm using the Sigma F70 Concealer Brush, and pretty much what I'm doing is cutting the crease with this. So what I like to do is take the concealer on my brush, apply it to my lids, and then look up, and that will kind of give you a gauge as to where your crease naturally folds and where you want it to be cut. So once you've got that little line of concealer as your guide, what you basically want to do is just fill in the rest of the lid with concealer and that will give you your base for your cut crease. So now that the crease is officially cut, what I'm going to do is set all of that concealer in place. I'm just going to go in with some translucent powder once more. You could apply whatever color you want, but I just feel like I want to keep it the way it is, so I'm just going to set it with some translucent powder. And I'm just using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. What I'm gonna do now is give myself a massive wing. So I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Just gonna go ahead and line my eyes, try to give myself the best wing possible. I suck at winged liner. But I feel like if you're gonna look like a lion, you gotta have that wing on point. So yeah, just giving myself a winged liner with this. I'm also just gonna go ahead and extend that winged liner on the inner corner as well, just to really give my eyes that cat-like effect. Now for the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go back into that shade Tiki Hut and I'm using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. What I'm gonna do is really smoke this out along there. Then I'm going back into the shade Mocha, that dark matte brown shade, and I'm using the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush again Running this along my bottom lash line and smoking it out once more. So now that that's all done, what I'm going to do now is really brighten up the eyes to open them up and make them look a lot bigger. So I'm going to go in with some white liner. This is the NYX Retractable Eyeliner. And I'm pretty much just going to line this along my waterline. And as you can see, the white really does open up the eye a lot more. I'm also just going to go ahead and take some of that white liner and fill in that gap between the two little wings that I've got going on on the inner corner. All right, so now all that is done, I'm going to go ahead and give my lashes a quick curl and then a coat of mascara, top and bottom. I'm using the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Now for lashes, I'm going to be using this pair from Coco Lashes in the style Goddess. As you can see, they are very dramatic, which is perfect for this look. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply those. I am using the House of Lashes Lash Adhesive, the black one, because you really want to make sure that the lashes blend into that liner that you have going on. Now that the eyes are finally done, I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. So I'm going to contour today with the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. I'm firstly going to be using this shade. I'm going to go ahead and contour my jawline and my cheekbones as usual. Now when it comes to the cheeks, I'm going to smile and let the apples of my cheeks show and then kind of form my contour around that. As for my nose, I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose as I usually do. I'm just going to continue on from that eyeshadow that I have on the bridge of my nose and drag it down towards the tip. So now that I'm all contoured, I'm going to go in with bronzer and when I say I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in. So I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush and I'm really going to concentrate a lot of this bronzer on the cheekbones just because we really want those to stand out a lot for the look. And I'm also going to apply a lot around the perimeters of my hairline. All right, so as you can see, I've got bronzer for days and it looks very intense, but what I'm gonna do is make it even more intense. I'm taking some translucent powder to my sponge and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the cheeks even more just to really define them. I'm also just going in and applying some translucent powder to that area above my lip because we really want that to protrude when we go ahead and apply the little whisker things that I'll show you in just a sec. So I'm gonna let that powder sit for a little bit and then dust it away. I look so crazy right now, it's insane, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the fun part, which is draw my little cute nose on and my top lips. So I'm going in with the Inglot Gel Liner. This one is in number 77. Essentially, it's just their super black gel liner, which is what we want for the nose. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my little nose and I'm also going to connect it down to my lip, just my top lip, and I'm gonna fill it in like as if I was applying lip liner or lipstick. 
All right, so I've got the cute little nose, little mouth going on, but I have to add little dots for the whiskers. So to make it easy, I'm just gonna go in with a liquid liner. Again, this is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And because this has such a fine point, it's gonna make it really easy to just dot it on and it's good to go. Now, of course, I have to highlight. So I'm gonna be using Fuego from Dose of Colors. It's a beautiful gold-toned highlight. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush. So I'm really gonna pack this on. I just wanna be glowing, beaming, so I'm really gonna put a lot on. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of lipstick to the bottom lip only. So this is More Creamer Please from Dose of Colors. This is in fact from the Desi X Katie collection. So I'm just gonna quickly dab a little bit of that onto the bottom lip. Now you could leave the look like this, that's perfectly fine, like this is good to go, but because I wanna be extra, I'm gonna add some glitter. So this is just some standard gold glitter from the craft store. I would recommend though, if you are going to be using glitter, be very careful, you don't wanna get it into your eyes, but what I'm gonna do with this is just apply it onto my chest, my neck, and a little bit like around my hairline. So fingers crossed that this turns out okay. I hope I don't like butcher the look with this, but I just wanna, you know, Put some glitter on. So to make it easier for myself, I've just put some of the glitter onto a piece of tissue. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray this brush with Fix Plus, dip it into the glitter, and then go ahead and apply it to my body. I would recommend using a brush that isn't too valuable to you, so one that you don't really care for because I guarantee the glitter will be hard to get out of it. All right, guys, so this is the final look. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. I keep looking at myself in the screen and getting like a little bit shocked every time because it just, I don't know, it doesn't look like me. But let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Also, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button on your way out so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As usual, I will list everything that I used in the video down in the description box below, where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. If you wanna catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat, let me tell you guys, Snapchat fans, them. They know everything first. So if you want to see what I'm doing, like aside from the videos that I do, then hit me up on Snapchat because you will see exactly what I do every single day. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I'll catch you all in my next video. Stay glowing.